White Labs, an e-commerce marketing agency. Today's guest is Tyler. Tyler, feel free to introduce yourself and let our viewers know about yourself and your background. Yeah, Stefan, thank you for having me. I appreciate the time. It's always an opportunity to you know connect with others and uh, providing a platform for me to, one, connect with yourself first, and two, connect with your audience. That's a privilege, so thank you for having me. But uh, my name's Tyler Blake. I'm originally from Chicago. Right now, we're based out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. That's where we run our creative agency. Started out as a streetwear clothing brand. I'm sure we'll get into all of that. But yeah, thank you for having me. Awesome, Tyler. Well, what 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 inspired you to create your agency? So, you know, growing up in Chicago, the culture, streetwear culture, hip hop, house music, that has always been a part of my life ever since I was, I would say, from between age seven and nine is when I really started uh, developing a love and a passion for streetwear culture. But I've been building things my entire life ever since I could first start using my hands. Um, yeah. And today that is in the realm of brand building, marketing, you know, multimedia, just helping people, you know, garner new attention, scale their brands, their businesses, create their brands um, and strategize uh, as a creative agency. But we started out as a streetwear clothing brand. And my heart is very much still in that space. Um, that's our audience. Those are the, the people that we love to connect with, the creative, the artist, the person that is starting a brand, the brand builder, you know, the person that is creating things for the world for people to enjoy. Awesome. Well, tell me more about your what you do as a brand. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So uh, we started out as a streetwear clothing brand late 2018. Uh, Wake, that's the name of our brand. Uh -huh. And we still produce products here and there, but now our focus, as I mentioned, is in the space of serving others that are starting out brands, small size, medium sized businesses that are looking towards scaling, you know, marketing through a creative lens uh, with the creative eye. So that's how we serve people today. But starting out as a streetwear clothing brand late 2018 and, you know, scaling to ship into 15 plus states across the country, uh, you know, international shipping, all of that throughout our process, you know, we realized that a lot of people would come to us, you know, just with the interest of starting our own brands and questions. So in the shadows throughout the years, we had always been doing consulting for other brands, other companies. And a year ago, we decided to just put that all under one roof. So, um, you know, starting out as a streetwear clothing brand and, you know, still starting up brands under our own roof. Uh, that's always fun. It's always a privilege to start new projects. But today I, I find a lot of value in serving others and helping others along their journeys of creating things for the world. So uh, that's what we're all about, you know, just along our journey, starting to serve the individual on their path of self-awareness, you know, developing a better relationship with themselves and, you know, just being their truest, purest, most authentic self. Uh, those are the people that our brand resonated with early on, but, you know, today just spreading things out across the board and, you know, creating things, helping others create things, you know, as I mentioned, it's just so much value in that, you know, just yeah. providing that, that energy back to the world. Um, uh, it's what I wake up every day to do is, is what drives me forward in life. So it's amazing. Who is your ideal target audience? So our ideal target audience, as I mentioned, um, is the fashion industry. You know, my wife and I, we both started up late, uh, late 2018 together. Uh, she's originally from here, from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I'm originally from Chicago, as I mentioned. And both of our upbringings were rooted very much in creativity, you know, just diving into those nuanced things and expressing them, whether through my um, own personal style, you know, t-shirt design, hoodies, uh, you know, multimedia production, just a lot of different mediums of creativity and now expressing that through, you know, brand building, entrepreneurship and all of that. We very much connect with the person that is in the creative space, the artist, the fashion designer, you know, the you know, industrial designer, anything in terms of creativity, you know, those are the people that we connect with. Definitely. You touched on this briefly too, but what makes you better than your competitors? Uh, I wouldn't say that, you know, we're better than our competitors. Because uh, there's a lot of amazing brands out there today. You know, rest in peace to Virgil Abloh. He really kicked down the doors and opened up the gates for us uh, with creative ideas. 
and a broad imagination to actualize things into products. So every day, you know, I'm deep into the trenches of the culture. I'm connecting with people on a daily basis across the world. And I have to say there's so many valuable creative ideas happening right now in the space. Um, I think it all comes back to, you know, who we are as individuals. You know, it all comes full circle to that, how we want to see the world, the value we want to offer to the world. Um, I would very much connect that to, you know, just being the most purest, authentic version of yourself. That's what's important. You know, we wouldn't have had a, a Ralph Lauren or we wouldn't have had a Steve Jobs if they weren't being the purest, most authentic form of themselves. So I would say that's what sets us apart. We're not in any of this to, you know, show up and just merely play the game. For us, it's an expression of who we are. So I would say that's what sets us apart, you know, just staying authentic to ourselves always. Definitely. What's been the most successful thing you've done to promote your brand? Uh, to, to date, you know, aside from our brand as a whole, we start these uh, micro projects under our roof. And uh, right now, one of our most recent projects being Streetwear of Roses, it's a, a community in Meta where we provide, you know, repurposed content, uh, original content, digital resources for people on their journey of building their brands. That's the one that's exciting me the most right now, just being that it's a free resource for the community to, you know, uh, download brand building guides, find inspiration, you know, as I mentioned, just things that fuel uh, their, you know, heartbeat on the path that they're on to starting their own brands. And that really, it really resonates with me because I needed that person growing up. I needed someone, you know, I, I had mentors, you know, thank God for that. But uh, it, it just fuels me because it, it's like I'm communicating with my younger self, you know, that's what I needed um, you know, in my younger years. And it's a privilege to be able to provide that back to the community. So that's what I'm most excited about today. Uh, you know, just Streetwear of Roses, running that project and, you know, having it be a digital resource to the community, to the Definitely. streetwear community. Definitely. Start, starting a brand and starting an agency and being an entrepreneur. I'm sure you've had a few challenges. What are some challenges that you faced in the past few years and how were you able to overcome them? <laughs> Early on, um, you know, when we started Wake, it's just a matter of getting up every day, you know, not looking left and right and, you know, um, I would say counting your losses fast because you, uh, on this path, you find that none of us has it all figured out. And, you know, the faster we can learn from our mistakes, the faster we can move forward. I knew nothing about tariff codes, you know, import taxes, none of that starting a brand. And, you know, we, we did import early on. We still do. Uh, and we do things here domestically as well. But had I known about import taxes and all of that type of stuff, I would have did my homework on that early on. So that was one of those hurdles, or, um, you know, that we learned early on, just having everything uh, in order when it comes to that. But yeah. uh, most recently, you know, I would say um, just being able to adapt super fast, being able to adapt really fast, you know, and being uh, the creative agency that is of service to the community, you know, to the individual starting up their brand, just adapting soon because everyone's journey looks different. And um, as someone that's providing services and helping share those stories, you know, we have to be able to adapt super fast. Um, so uh, most recently, I would say, you know, just uh, get up, don't look left and right be willing to adapt quickly and, you know, just keep moving forward. That's the most important thing. Definitely ama amazing advice. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it goes. <laughs> Definitely. What's, what's the future plan for yourself and the brands? So, you know, for the brand serving as a, you know, a creative agency, a house that houses all of these other um, brands, micro brands, streetwear brands, media brands, all of that, this sort of stuff. A goal for ours would be to continue to serve the community at a larger scale. You know, our most recent project being Streetwear of Roses, we want that to continue to be a digital resource, you know, a media resource for people to find some of the tools that they need along their journey. So scaling that project, producing more original content, connecting with more people through Streetwear of Roses, uh, you know, just opening the gates to that platform 
to be a, a source for the community to, you know, just find value and grow their own brands, connect with a new audience. Uh, that's what excites us the most right now. We have another one called Her Bossy Diaries that is geared towards serving, you know, women in the beauty and fashion industry. Mona Lisa, uh, you know, that's my wife I mentioned earlier on. Uh, she is championing that project and pushing that forward. Uh, you know, my focus has been on, you know, uh, moving streetwear of roses forward. And we come together to push these platforms together and, you know, delicate tasks, um, you know, uh, just moving it ahead. You know, that will be our current goal right here, moving these platforms ahead and just opening the gates for people to imagine, dream and, you know, make their goals a reality. Uh, that's that's what fills me every day because it, it's not about me. It's about, you know, the world being a better place and people finding, you know, better products, uh, better services, you know, and better mediums for creativity and you know, just making the world a better place. That, that's where our mind is today. I'm with you on that, Tyler. Yeah, yeah. Tyler, you know? I, I, I appreciate you coming on the White Pod. Is there anything I yeah. haven't asked you that you want our viewers to know? Oh, no. Uh, I appreciate, you know, just being able to communicate here and, and just, you know, shoot back and forth pretty quickly. It's always a amazing opportunity to, you know, connect with people like yourself, Stefan. We're both out here every day, you know, pushing the world forward, providing value, you know, just helping to serve lives. I think that's what it comes back to. So uh, I appreciate, you know, getting an opportunity to talk with you here. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing more of what you all do on your end. You know, uh, Definitely. We, we all out here, you know, just moving exactly. things forward, <laughs> doing great things to the world. So thank you. Definitely, Tyler. Thank you so much. Yeah, appreciate it. Take care.